Hey family, what's going on? Klaus here and welcome back to our Town Holly Let's Play where today, like I said last episode, we are going to be starting the Town Hall upgrade. And I know that because I said that at the two minute mark, I'm sorry, two day, the two day mark of the minion upgrade, we would be starting the Town Hall. The Town Hall is a four day upgrade, which means this minion would finish at the two day upgrade the Town Hall. We start the second or the, the final lab upgrade, which happens to be the earthquake spell that has four days and then that will give us time to finish the town hall nine level laboratory upgrade it's never simple every time i explain it it's never simple but believe me it works out and again a lot of people in the comments of the last video were like yo if you start the laboratory upgrade it will stop your research project that is not true and i will prove it in future videos so be staying tuned by hitting that subscribe button joining the class family turning on notifications and liking this video all right so let's go let's smack some bases let's get some gold and again today we're upgrading that town hall which is super exciting so we need again uh 30 000 dark elixir in order to upgrade the earthquake spell we're at 25 so we're doing okay on dark elixir but we need gold uh we need i think three million gold or something like that the upgraded town hall i think it is three million so uh we definitely need to farm up some gold and we still have six walls to go before we are 100% maxed out. So I'll be right back guys once I find that perfect base, tons of gold and um, you know, ideally a lot of dark elixir as well. Boo baby. All right guys. So this base dead base doesn't even have a clan kind of sad forever alone, right? But yes, we have found a base with a lot of loot, tons of dark elixir, tons of gold and a whole bunch of elixir that we're going to be wasting. It's going to be a good time. So let's smack a base from the sweepers uh, blind side. Actually coming in from the right hand side would probably make the most sense, I think. So do we have any corner buildings? No, no corner buildings. All right, let's just come in. Got to get a funnel established. So I'm going to go ahead and work on the army camps, but I also want to get the barracks and stuff in the corner too. And then I have targeted every building in the way here. I'm um, going to throw down a, a dragon and get some balloons going down as well. So let's actually rage into this air defense. All right, we want the air defense to go down quickly so that the max balloons will go for the air defense on the top. Meanwhile, we have a whole bunch of dragons on the bottom to grab the third and final air defense. So I think... If everything goes according to plan, it looks like it will. The final deep air defense goes down. And that, my friends, is going to be a fast and furious dropping of the base. Because there's really nothing else that this base could do. Max balloons, dragons OP. I absolutely love it. Now, the other strategy I really like at Town Hall 8, and honestly, at every Town Hall level, is dragons. I mean, I'm sorry. Duh, I'm using dragons. At every other Town Hall level is hog riders. But I've needed Dark Elixir this entire series. There's never been a moment where I'm like, whew, done with Dark Elixir. This is amazing, guys. No, we have needed it till the very end. So I haven't had the uh, space. I haven't had the ability to use Dark Elixir in an army. But yes, hog riders are a great strategy. Be sure and check out my war videos. 5v5 Fridays are a great example of that. If you want to see maybe some... Uh, Hog Rider attacks. Not not the old ones. The old ones I'm using uh, dragons, but I'm about to be recording a 5v5 Friday with a buddy of mine, and I will be using Hog Riders um, on this account, or at least I plan to. Unless the base just is super easy for dragons. We'll see. We'll see. But anyway, there you go. With that three star, that is going to be a ton of gold, a ton of elixir. Wasted most of that. And then Dark Elixir, 2,810. That is a major number of Dark Elixir for a Town Hall 8. I mean, that is some serious, serious gains right there. I'm gonna request for some troops, actually, and um, I've got an extra poison spell. That's no problem. I didn't have to use mine in the last one. So let's see, can I get some free loot? Yes! Oh, baby! Let's claim some, some free gold. There you go. Now we're at 2.7 million gold. I only need, uh, let me see. I only need 200, and, yep. 3 million gold upgrade, guys. I only need 275,000 more gold. That's going to be super easy to find. And fortunately, my king did not take any damage. So we're going to be able to have him. The only thing we're going to be lacking in the next attack is going to be no CC troops. But that's pretty typical for this series. I normally am not able to get CC troops while filming. Just because I film in the middle of the day. Most people are at school or at work or whatever it is that they do in life. Uh, so guys, let me find another perfect base. Again, we need 275,000 gold, plus every time I hit the search button, that adds another 580 gold to the to the pot of what I need. So hopefully we can find a big, massive whale, tons of gold once again, so that we can upgrade the town hall. 
Oh my goodness, guys. Uh, uh, wow, 450,000 gold. That's a ton of gold, but only 32 Dark Elixir. I mean, this is not going to help us in upgrading our Earthquake spell, but I've still got two days until we need to do that. So it's all good. What we need to do now is snag all the gold. And this base has a lot of it. So, DX, I'm sorry, buddy, but you're about to get dropped. And right now, let me look. The gold appears to all be on one side of the base, but should we go for the three star? Yes, we should always go for the three star. That sounds like a great plan. All right, so corner building, corner building. Dragon will um, be funneled in toward the middle here. There we go. Let's get the balloons. And uh, we're going to need an early rage spell here. I'm actually going to rage. Oh, I can't rage into the air defense because the air defense is too far away. All right, dragons, I need you to. There we go. Let's rage into that air defense right there. Um, and then hopefully some of the dragons file in toward the air defenses on the other side of the town hall. That's going to be the big problem is that there are a lot of high hit point buildings. Some storages and such between the dragons and those air defenses on the far sides. Let's see if maybe we can get a little bit lucky here. All right, so the town hall goes down. Let's drop a rage on both of these air defenses. And looks like the, <laughs> the last the last dragon we needed goes in the wrong direction my bro what were you thinking my my bro and then the other dragons went way off in the wrong direction there was no chance there was no chance that that dragon was going to get it done wow i'm surprised i'm surprised the dragon uh <laughs> did that i mean yeah of course it goes to the closest building but the air defense was shooting you my dude and he decides to go for gold typical greedy dragon right am i right dragons are greedy they're greedy son of a guns but look at this guys it looks like the dragon will maybe no he's got no health left nope he's gone <laughs> um okay well the king will grab the rest of the gold for us we'll you know we'll hop out of here as soon as that is done and that my friends was a full loot bonus not significant thirteen thousand gold whatever but altogether, guys that was over four hundred fifty thousand gold i only got 10 dark elixir in that raid which is comical yeah, that attack didn't go quite according to plan, but there you go. The significance of having a, D, a, a clan castle really, really making itself known there. But there we go. So with a star bonus, we actually have an extra 300k uh, gold, which is going to get us to being able to... Actually, we're going to be able to, um, to do a couple of walls. Let me check this out. I've got six walls to do, each one a quarter of a million, so I need one and a half million gold. And I've almost got the extra half million to be able to knock down our wall demand to 1 million gold exactly. I think that'd be kind of cool, kind of poetic. So I've got my king. Let's actually go. Let's find an external um, gold mine. Which one? Do we see any like upgraded ones? The upgraded ones hold more gold. All right. Yeah. So we need 25,000 gold. King, that's your job, bro. Take that gold from that upgraded gold mine right there. We need to get to 3.5 million gold. There we go. Good job, dude. Good job. You went over and above. Nice. We'll have 61,000 extra gold in order to uh, to do some searching or whatever I'm going to do with it. So, awesome. So, now we can do some fun stuff. Let me bounce into my progress base here and let's check some stuff out. First and foremost, walls. All right. Let's get the walls done. So, I've got... One wall here, just to finish off the line. There you go. And then I've got five walls left. I'm going to upgrade one of them, which brings us down to four walls and a demand, again, of one million gold. That's it. And then we're done with the walls of Tunnel 8. How amazing is that? So let's do this, guys, in 250,000 gold. Three, two, one. Bam. Nice. All right. And I'm going to, you know what? I'm going to separate those out. That way, you know, it's obvious what we're going to do tomorrow or next time I actually film. So now, guys, it is time to upgrade the Town Hall to Town Hall Level 9. A four-day upgrade, three million gold. Um, this does not end at Town Hall 8 Let's Play. Just because your Town Hall is upgrading does not mean that you are that Town Hall level. So for the next four days, we're still technically going to be at Town Hall 8, giving me plenty of time to finish up my laboratory and finish up my walls. Um, and then we can finally conclude the Town Hall 8 Let's Play. So let's do this, guys. Three million gold, four-day upgrade. Town Hall going down in three, two, one. Bam! Nice. I like it. I like it a lot. That's going to look good. You know what? You know what's going to look so good about that? The fact that Town Hall 9 is so much fun, and we're going to have a blast doing that series on this channel. But that being said, let's uh, one more time try to explain, in case anybody doesn't quite understand what it is that we're doing, because I know a lot of you are panicking. You're like, whoa, 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 wait a minute. Klaus hit the upgrade button. The walls aren't done. The laboratory is not done. What is he doing? He's lost his mind. He's gone crazy. 
Well, maybe a little bit, but only because I'm doing things as efficiently as possible. Again, because the Town Hall has four days left, we're still technically Town Hall 8s, even though the Town Hall is upgrading. If we were to go to war right now, our Town Hall would still be level 8. So that gives me four days to finish up some stuff. The walls, that's only 1 million gold. No big deal. I'll get that easily. The laboratory, two days until I can upgrade the earthquake spell. The earthquake spell is four days. So that's a grand total of six. Okay. Six total days left in my laboratory. The town hall is four days. And then once that's done, I can upgrade the lab. And the lab upgrade is two days. Equaling six. Understand what I'm saying? So those two upgrades equaling six. These two upgrades equaling six. They're going to finish at the same time my town hall eight laboratory projects will finish when the town hall nine laboratory finishes upgrading it's going to be perfect if you don't believe me that this laboratory project will continue while the laboratory is upgrading itself then stay tuned for the beginning of the town hall nine let's play because it's going to be crazy <laughs> But for now, guys, that is all that I have for you today. Thank you all so much for tuning in. We are one episode away from the grand finale of our Town Hall 8 Let's Play. And I'm so, so excited to finally finish off these walls, to finally finish off this laboratory for you guys. Remember to like this video if you liked it. And of course, if you like this, this uh, Town Hall 8 Let's Play series, it's been an absolute blast. Subscribe again. Join the Clans family for daily Clash of Clans videos. And remember that I love each and every one of you. And I will see you all again next time.